Greetings, last boys and girls. It's Miss Allen, and today I have the grade one kids in front of me. And you know what else? Today is Father's Day. Oh, there's Ashley. I'm missing her name. Here we go. So, happy Father's Day. Well, Jeremy was really pretty upset as he pedaled home from school and he parked his car, his car? No, he parked his bike in the garage and his dad overheard him muttering, I can't do that. I'm just a kid. I just can't, I just can't do that. Dad called Jeremy over and said, hey Jeremy, I'd like you to help me paint the lawn furniture this afternoon. Okay, Jeremy replied, okay, just give me the paint and the brushes. And as they got to work, Jeremy poured out his whole heart. And he told his dad, my classmate Brian wasn't in school today, Dad, and some of the kids say it's because his mom is going to die. I know that I should go and see him, but I'm afraid to. I just don't know what to say to him. Jeremy sniffed loudly. I just can't do it. I understand how you feel, Jeremy, said Dad. But you know what? Brian really, really needs you now. And you know what else? Sometimes in these difficult situations like this, you often don't even have to say anything at all. You just need to be there and show him your friend and just listen. That's all you may need to do. But Dad, I'm just a kid. Oh, I remember a story about the prophet Jeremiah thinking he was just a kid. But God didn't excuse him. Let me share a little bit about that. And I want you to think about that while we paint the furniture. You know, Jeremiah was also young. And then he heard, when he heard the voice of God speaking to him, and the voice of God said, Even before you were born, I knew you, and I chose you to be a prophet. Jeremiah told God, Yeah, but God, I'm too young. I don't know how to speak to people. But you know what God said? Don't say that you're too young. You will go where I send you, and you will speak the messages I give you. And don't be afraid, because I'm going to be with you. And then God touched Jeremiah's mouth, and he said to him, I have put my words in your mouth. I am calling you to speak to nations. Sometimes your words will help pull down what needs to be destroyed, and there will be other times where, when your words will cause seeds of new life to grow. God first spoke Jer to Jeremiah when Josiah was king of Judah, and then many years later when Jeremiah was much older, and Jerusalem was captured and many of its people were taken to Babylon. Then, in the midst of those hard times, that's when Jeremiah brought a message of hope. Jeremiah spoke for God. And he also said, There will be a time coming when I will make a new covenant with Israel and Judah. It won't be like the old covenant, the one that the people broke even though I led them out of slavery in Egypt. This new covenant that I will make it will be one where I put my law within the people, and I will write it on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people, and I will forgive the wrong they have done, and they shall all know me from the least to the most powerful. You know, Jeremy, Dad said, God isn't calling you to be a voice to many nations. But as a Jesus follower, he is calling you to be a friend to your friend who's in need. What do you think? Will it help if Mom and I go with you after dinner? Jeremy grinned. It sure will. So after dinner, Mom, Dad, and Jeremy went to the Parker's house. And they spent some time there. And then later, as they returned from the Parker's house, Jeremy said, You are right, Dad. I'm glad I went. Brian needed me. And Dad said, I'm glad you went too. 
You know, as a Jesus follower, our covenant is written in our hearts. Ever since Jesus came to earth and he died on the cross and now he's in heaven, but he sent his Holy Spirit and we have God's word to be with us. And so, uh, even though Jesus has gone to heaven, his Holy Spirit is with, with us at all times. And we can pray to him and ask God to help us to be that friend to the people who might be in need. And you know what, boys and girls, right now we're still in the COVID crisis. Things are getting better, but there are still people in need. And so, boys and girls, we shouldn't forget to, to continue to pray for people. We can still donate our money, which may be a way to help somebody in need. Maybe writing those letters or cards or pictures of encouragement. There are all kinds of ways that we can uh, be people who are friendly to those who have some need. And then remember how God writes, one of the ways that God writes um, his word in our hearts is through song. And remember that song, Oh, heaven is in my heart. Oh, John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whosoever believes in him will have eternal life. Oh, heaven is in my heart. Oh, heaven is in my heart. And that is part of the new covenant that Jeremiah prophesied so many hundreds of years ago that Jesus would come and that he would write his words in our heart. And so maybe that's a song that you can sing this week as you think about ways that you can be a friend to somebody who might be in need of your words of encouragement, your prayer, your friendship. And that's a great place to end our story today. Bye for now. We'll see you next time.